My name is Dave Milray and I am the Central District Sales Manager as well as the Canadian Regional Sales Manager for ESTI and AFM. Together we are the Engage Packaging Group. As Mike just showed you, one of our ESTI products, the VS1620 that we're excited about, I'm going to switch horses here and we're going to get over into the AFM land. Now AFM is American Film and Machinery. This is a project, uh, a product line of ours that we're extremely excited about. It's probably our fastest growing, this specific unit is our fastest growing uh, product area. And I'm going to cover a couple of the different things that we can do here. So what we're looking at right now is our CH100 and our GS series shrink tunnel. Now, what is our CH100? The CH100 is a tamper evident sleeve applicator. So when I say tamper evident, all I'm talking about is the very neck of the container. So if you can remember back in the eighties, there was a Tylenol scare, scare with some cyanide in the bottles. That was kind of the catalyst for tamper evident sleeves. And really all we're doing again is we're gonna cover that top portion to ensure that when you see this on the shelf, as whether it be at a pharmacy, whether it be at a grocery store, that you know that the cap is going to have its integrity, the product inside of the uh, bottle is gonna have its integrity, and that you're gonna be buying what you think you're buying. To start it off, I'm gonna show you a quick demonstration of this machine, and then we're gonna jump into some of the inherent features of the CH100. So as you can see here, we're gonna apply some bottles to the line. They're gonna be introduced, and this is where the magic happens, right in that little frame. Beautiful. So as you see, they're gonna travel through, they're gonna enter the tunnel, and when they come out of the tunnel, what we're gonna have, it may be a little difficult because it's clear, but we're gonna have a perfect seal, a perfect shrink tamper band so that whatever I do, I can't get it off. And if I do get it off, well, now I can't put it back on. We've got an issue. We know that something has happened to this. This should probably be thrown in the trash. So again, with everything that's going on in the world right now, we're seeing an increased demand for security. Security is the name of the game. And security is really something that is gonna give either you or your customer that added benefit of peace of mind that when my product leaves my store or leaves my production facility, that it's going to have the integrity that it's, you're gonna have the confidence that that product is what you think it is. So again, really, really crucial to have this as part of your system and to have it as part of society at large to make sure that what we're buying at our stores are actually what's being sent out from the ship air, from the production floor. And with this machine, we can help do that. So we'll get started with a little bit of the CH100. First, I gotta hit the pause button and acknowledge Josh Nelson on the camera. He should probably be where I am right now, but he spent all day you know, following us around with cameras, making sure that the show goes on. So I'm gonna do a little uh, moving around and Josh is gonna follow me, but I wanted to make sure everybody uh, knows that we appreciate what Josh and our marketing team are doing for us. So down here, we've got the film hopper. This is where we're gonna load film. If you notice that this is at the bottom of the machine, now this is an added benefit having it at the bottom. Oftentimes, rolls of film can be extremely heavy. And so having to only put it here, as opposed to having to carry it up here, just makes it easier for change out, for transition. If you need to, change, if you need to swap this out, it's a quick boom, load it with the next one, put the collars on it, and then we're gonna start threading it through the machine. So with this example, you can see that the film is gonna ride up the backside of the machine. We're only taking a couple feet off of the back. So if you need to put this against the wall, if you need to have this in an area where it's secluded, we can do that. We just need to take into account a little bit of uh, overhang for the hopper. But back to here, we're gonna go up, we're gonna cross through the top. As you see, that's going to traverse along the top of the machine. And now we're gonna get into the guts of the machine. So as you see here, I'm gonna hit stop. And we're gonna pop the hood on this bad boy. And we're gonna take a look at what's happening inside of here. So the film is going to travel down. What you're gonna see here is a butterfly style mandrel. This is very unique to the CH100. I'm gonna step back and show you, for example, what you traditionally would see with an AFM sleeve applicator. Traditionally, as a, traditionally speaking, I mean our LX series. So the LX series is more conducive for a full body sleeve. And we've got a much heavier duty uh, transportation vessel for the film to get onto the product. So as you can see here, I mean, this thing has some weight to it. There's a lot more bells and whistles on here. We've got hot and cold doorknobs. We got everything on the LX series mandrel. Now the CH 
what we've got here is a, the butterfly, as I said earlier, it's two pieces of metal essentially that are going to open up the film along the top to allow it to be spread. And it's gonna twist it a little bit and feed it down so that we're gonna have this lined up exactly where it needs to be. So as we come through here, you can see that there are some drives that are gonna keep this consistent. It's gonna maintain tension. And where I said earlier where the magic happens, that's gonna be this guillotine cutter. So traditionally with our LX series, you're gonna see six blades spinning like this, cutting the band. That's not what's happening here. What's happening here is again, the guillotine cutting feature. As the film is coming down, the blade is lopping off the film. Okay, so once that blade lops off the next product that's coming through or the next band that's coming through, it's going to suspend it at a 45 degree angle. So with our LX series where we're hitting a moving target, all we're doing here is we're thanking Isaac Newton and gravity and we're gonna make sure that that container is gonna grab the product, advance it, it's gonna drop down, put it in perfect position and we'll be off and running. So a couple other things that, a couple other things, that's really it with the CH100. This is a really, really simple solution that we like. A couple things that are more advanced features are some of the photo eye sensors that we have. So if you have a printed film, if you have a registered print, if you have anything like that, we're gonna be able to take that into account up here and really make sure that wherever that guillotine is cutting, that it's cutting it in the correct location. We also have a photo sensor down here. That's great camera work. And that is where we are going to activate the product and let us know that we're gonna to need to cut another one. Okay, so those are really the only two photo eyes that are on here, but they're really critical. Whether you're just gonna do clear film as we're doing now and we need to read off of the container, or if we're gonna do something more advanced with a print, we can read off of the print. All right, so we'll button this back up here. Good. All I'm gonna to have to do is hit work. It's going to suspend a band there. And now we'll do a little demonstration of that gravity driven 45 degree angle band. And you can get an idea of exactly what's happening because I think this is really cool and it's a really, really simple application. So as you can see here, the product is being introduced. That band is hanging at a 45 degree angle and it's simply taking it away by the force of the conveyor and the container. So minimal moving parts, very reliable, very easy to use. Something that we're really excited about. Again, with everything going on in the market, with, uh, in, the, in the world, I should say, with COVID. And on top of COVID, we've got industries that are popping up like the cannabis industry where integrity of the product is critical. We've got pharmaceuticals. You're seeing more and more pharmaceuticals that are being thrown out, uh, whether it be on Amazon or whether you go to a GNC or a, a, I'm blanking on the other protein manufacturer, protein retailer, but any of those stores that you're going to go into, you're going to see a lot of tamper bands. Okay. So that's the CH100. We'll get back. We'll run another sample and I can answer some questions on it. But the other piece to, to this puzzle is the GS series tunnel. Okay. So the GS series tunnel is dedicated to tamper bands. Again, all we're trying to do is hit that top portion. So what this is, it's a convection heat tunnel, meaning that there's limited airflow. The heat that's being driven from the bars are really what's gonna facilitate that shrink. Okay, there's a couple features inside of there. I'm gonna run a few project, uh, products. Josh, if you can get to the end so we can look down the tunnel and watch the train coming through. So you can get an idea of a simulation of what this shrink is doing, okay? Again, if you saw, I just put those containers on the conveyor and that tunnel is able, or that, that applicator is able to apply them. The shrink tunnel here, you can see that it's shrinking in stages. It's not hitting and shrinking directly right away, but what it's doing is it's warming the label up so that we're able to hit it on the back end and get a quick shrink, finalize the shrink, finalize the product. And then if you can look here, I mean, we're talking, we've got two millimeters of curl over there. That's a really, really nice, nice feature. So this film, I'm sure you've all experienced this if you've had a pint of ice cream before. This film is not perforated. Okay, that's an option that you can add or that you can present to your customer or to your boss, whoever it may be, to make sure that when people do actually buy it, they can just tear it off easily which is something that we can help with. We pride ourselves on the one throat to choke mentality. Now when I say one throat to choke, I'm not talking about violence. I'm talking about 
it's inevitable that in the field something is going to happen. And traditionally, you can see the applicator company, the film company, and then uh, a third party is typically involved. And there's a lot of finger pointing going on. With this, whether it be the applicator, whether it be the tunnel, whether it be the film, we take ownership of it. We take onus of it to make sure that at the end of the day, we minimize finger pointing and make sure that we keep you guys up and running. All right, so that's really it with this machine. A handful of features with, uh, as you can see here, very, very, very simple setup, very simple operation. Uh, I'm gonna run a quick run of, of some sleeves and show you guys what we're doing. So we're gonna go a little faster here. I had them spread out before to do it, uh, to showcase a little bit of the functionality and the features. This machine can go from a lay flat width of about 40 millimeters, which is relatively small, all the way up to 150 millimeters. So what does that mean? For the most part, you're gonna see products in Boston rounds like this in that range. And it's not specific to Boston rounds. This is not specific to medication, to supplements, to any of that, which is something that I really wanna highlight here because it's what makes this machine so cool is that it's versatile and can be used in a lot of different industries. So a couple of the industries that we've seen, beverage industry, right? You wanna make sure that the cap is gonna be good. So here you can see that they've added decoration, they've added some graphics so that when this is on the shelf, this is gonna pop and people are gonna see it and they're gonna grab it and hopefully buy it, right? Which is the main goal of what we're trying to do here. So that's what we're gonna get here on top of that. And we're gonna see a better example of this with the barbecue sauce. Go to a Target, I, I challenge you to go to Target, go to your local grocery store, go look at the condiments, look at the salad dressings, look at everything that's out there because once you start looking, it's kind of like the red pickup truck. Once you think about it, you're only gonna see red pickup trucks. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, these things are everywhere. So finally, that added benefit, we've got security, we've got graphics to make it pop off the shelf. Now third is kind of a hidden value that I like to think about, is that you can play around with the fill of the actual bottle and hide that with a printed band. So if you've got customers that are looking, they don't want to get shorted, they don't want to see that it's, you know, the barbecue sauce is only coming to here as opposed to here, which they would be assuming. So you can use that shrink band to essentially hide it, make it look good, make it look sharp, it's gonna pop off. They're gonna be none the wiser of what's actually inside of it, what the contents are. But it's a way for manufacturers to kind of get creative to one, make it appealing, two, make it safe, and three, make sure that people are buying it. 